Welcome grade 4. Our lesson today inshallah is decimals place value. If we have a decimal number like 951 and 24 hundredths, okay, this number consists of how many digits? Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Consists of, yes, 5 digits, okay? If we want to name the place of this digit, uh, what is the name of this digit? Yes, ones. Yes, we know this name is ones. This digit name is ones. Okay, what about this, the second digit in the whole number? Yes, we know it is tens. And the third one in the whole number is what is hundreds. Okay, hundreds. Huh. The decimal fraction, we have 24 hundredths. Uh, the first digit after the decimal, okay? What is the name of this digit? Yes, we know it. Uh, the name of this place is called, yes, it's called tenth. Uh, and what about the second, the second digit after the decimal? Yes, hundreds. So now we have the whole number, ones, tens, hundreds, okay? And the decimal fraction, tens, hundreds. Huh. If we want to write the values of these digits, okay? We know the places names, okay? What about the values? One in ones equals, huh, the values what? Huh, is one. Five in tens equals, yes, the value of five now equals the five? No. Five in tens means, yes, 50. Nine in hundreds means what? Ha. The value of nine in hundreds equals 900. Go to the decimal fraction now. Ha. Two in tens. Ha. What is the value of two in tens? Yes, we know it equals two tenths. And the value of four in hundreds equals, yes, equals the four hundreds. And we know that how to write four hundreds, zero point zero four. So now we could write this number in another form, okay? It's called expand form. How can we write 951 and 2400 in expand form? Yes, we can write it in expand form as follows. Ha, 900, okay? Plus what? Plus 50. Plus 1. Plus 1. Plus 2 tenths. Okay. Plus 4 hundredths. So now we know two forms of the decimal number. Okay. This 4, the main form is called what? It's called a standard form. It's called a standard form. Okay. And the second form is called expand form, like uh, 900, 900 plus 50 plus 1 plus 2 tenths plus 400. And this form is called, yes, expand form. Now, guys, let's solve the first example in our lesson. Write the place of the underlying digit, then write its value. Okay, number one. Two and thirty one hundredths. Two and thirty one hundredths. Yes, the underlying digit is what? Is two. What is the name of this place? Yes, the name of this place is what? Yes, is ones. What is the value of this place? Two in ones equals? Yes, two in ones equals? Yes, equals two. Okay. Number two. 52 and 75 hundredths and the underlying digit is 7 ha huh. what is the name of this digit huh. this place is what yes this place the first place after after the decimal point is called tenth so this place is called yes it's called tenth ha huh. what is the value of 7 in tenth yes equals 7 tenths can we write 7 tenths now yes we can write it as 0 0.7. Number three, 
eleven and thirty eight hundred. Eleven and thirty eight hundred. And the underlying digit now is what? Is eight. Huh. What is the name of this place? Yes. This place is called Yes Hundreds. So hundreds. And what is the value of eight and hundreds? The value of eight and hundreds equals eight hundreds. Can we write eight hundreds? Yes. Zero point eight? No. Zero point eight means eight tenths. But we want to write eight hundreds. So yes, two places after the decimal. Okay, it will be yes, eight hundreds. Number four, four hundred twenty-two and thirteen hundreds. Uh, the underlying digit is four. Uh, what is the name of this place? Uh, the place of four now is what? Uh, ones, tens, yes, hundreds. So four, the place of four now is what? Is hundreds. So write hundreds. Okay, the place of four is hundreds. Uh, what is the value of four in hundreds? Yes, four hundred. Yes, write four hundred. Okay, number five, five hundred nine and eighty eight hundreds. Okay, the underlying digit is zero. Uh, what is this place name now? Yes, ones, tens. So zero, uh, the place of zero now is what? Is tens. So write tens. What is the value of zero in tens? Zero at any place equals zero. Zero at any place equals what? Zero. So put zero number six nine and fourteen hundreds ha huh. the underlying digit is what is one okay huh. what is this place yes we know it the first place after the decimal is called tens so one the place of one is what is tens ha huh. what is the value of one in tens yes one tens Okay, number seven, eighteen and the twenty hundreds. Okay, the underlying digit is what? Is zero. Ha. What is the place of zero now? Yes, we know that this place is called, the first place after the decimal point is called, yes, it's called the tens. And the second place is called hundreds. So, its place is hundreds. Uh, what about the value? We said before that the value of zero at any place equals zero. Number eight, ten and twenty-five hundreds. And the underlying digit now is what? The underlying digit is zero. What is the place of zero now? Yes, ones. And the value of zero equals zero. Okay. Another example. Write each decimal in expand four. Number one. One and eight tenths. One and eight tenths. Uh, now, start by whole number. Yes, we have one in ones. One in ones digit equals one. So, in expand four, we can write it. Uh, one in ones equals one plus eight in tenths equals eight tenths so eight tenths so the expand the form of one and eight tenths equals one plus eight tenths number two ninety one and fifteen hundreds start by the whole number the largest digit is what is nine okay the second digit in the whole number okay nine what is the place of nine is tenths so nine is tens equals equals ninety. Yes, we can write it ninety plus one in ones equals what? Ha! Huh. One in ones equals one plus one in tens. We write it one tens plus five in hundreds equals yes five hundreds zero point zero five. Number three, twenty-three hundreds. Yes, look at the whole number. Uh, 
the whole number equals zero. So we don't have ones or tens or hundreds. So the whole number is zero and we ignore zero. Then write this digit. This place, this place is what? It's tenths. Two in tenths equals, yes, two tenths plus three in hundreds. Uh, equals 0 0.03 and we read it 300 so the expand form of 23 hundreds equals 2 tenths plus 3 hundreds number 4 4 and 7 hundreds yes start with whole okay we have 4 in 1's uh, 4 in 1's digit equals yes equals 4 plus 0 in tenths Ha. We said before zero at any place equals zero, so we don't write zero. Then seven in hundreds. Yes, seven in hundreds equals seven hundreds. Zero point zero seven. Number five. Six hundred seventy and twelve hundreds. Okay. Start with six in the whole. Okay, the largest digit. Okay, six in hundreds equals yes equals six hundred seven and tens equals yes seven tens means seventy plus zero and ones simply at any place equals zero we don't write it huh. one in tens one in tens means what yes one tens plus two, two in hundreds means two hundreds zero point zero two Okay, number six. Look at the whole. Ha. Seven in hundreds means, yes, seven hundreds equals seven hundred. Zero in tens means that, yes, means zero. We don't write it. And zero in ones equals zero also. Ignore it. We don't write zero. Ha. What about four? Four in tens equals, yes, equals four tens. Plus zero in hundreds equals zero, and we don't write zero in the expand form. Number seven. Eighty-four and seventy-three hundreds. Yes, so this digit now is what is eight. It's a place is what is tens. So eight and tens equals equals eighty. Plus four in ones equals the same four. Seven in tenths. Seven in tenths equals seven tenths. Zero point seven. And three in hundreds equals three hundreds. Zero point zero three. Three hundreds. Number eight. Two hundred twenty two and two tenths. Ha. Huh. The largest digit is what? is two equals two in hundreds equals two hundred plus two in tens equals two tens means twenty plus two in ones means two the same and two tens means yes two tens zero point two